How have you been? I haven't seen you for what, a year? Too long. Too long, dear friend. I've been very well. I've missed you. Have you been busy? I've been absolutely frantic. I've been really, really busy. Well, you've become very, very popular, because I'm not at all surprised. <laughs> oh, you are so smooth. Be careful with this, you know. You're going to fall in it It's pretty, minute. isn't it? Isn't, isn't it, it lovely? Never dries up. Very cold. Ah, uh, yes, you know, the extraordinary thing is, my bakery used to be a fishmonger for about 180 years. And the uh, uh, fishmonger would come out and wash the fish in the stream. How nice. Isn't but this marvelous? isn't a history lesson. This is not look at life or anything like that. Oh. It's a cookery program, you silly old bat. So have your flowers, because <laughs> I love you, right? Mm. And take me to your hot, steaming kitchen. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> that will, of course, fade on the bosom of a, of, of a flirt, you realise that. What then, a cruel you? thing to say. <laughs> Now, an old Somerset dish is cod's cheeks and tongues. You know, we British are so wasteful, all this wonderful rich flesh usually gets fed to the cat. But Margaret simply rolls them in fresh breadcrumbs and fries them in butter for a few moments, and they taste as good as fresh scallops, but cost a fraction of the price. Don't go too far away, sweetheart. He's nice, isn't he? You He's shouldn't lovely. shout at him as much as you do, should it's you? It's not... <laughs> now, then, you can come here. Oh, okay, this I'm is what he says, it. doesn't he? He says, down here, Richard. I've, so, I've seen him on some of those programmes. He's quite rude to you. Where are you, dear heart? I'm here, sweet oh, Miss Knight. Oh, come along, come along. You're supposed to be helping me do this. I know. You're drinking all that cider behind my back. And now, that is all going to fry gently away. Yes. Actually, only button. for, please, about a minute and a half. Right. Turn them over. I mean, really hardly any at all, because they need... They need very little. Okay, now right. tell me, what is this lovely green oinks looking liquid in oinks. here? Oinks. Oh, that's a nice word. That is gooseberry and tarragon sauce. Be careful, sweetheart's hot. Mm. Isn't it lovely? It's beautiful. It's and lovely. that goes with the. And that is a lovely pecan sauce that we serve with these. And to go with it, because these are all very soft and gentle. See, these, these really, honestly, it's marvelous. The housewife should buy these. They're so inexpensive. Uh, most of the fishmongers would, they don't have to buy the whole head. Look at that lovely white flesh. Yes, Can you see that? Green. Isn't it making your mouth water? Isn't it lovely? And they're almost done. Oh, I'm sorry, am I? Am I... No, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, I recognise when I'm in front of a real trooper, <laughs> you know. I, I'll I'm take sorry, a back seat. I didn't, I, listen. Didn't, I didn't mean to do this. She's going to do that. We've actually got upstairs sitting eight beautiful maidens who work in this fine restaurant of Margaret's, and I've got to cook them the other half of their lunch, which is rabbit. And I don't want a little bunny wunny in my little woe boat, because the bunny might be crazy and bite me in the throat. Bunny? Was by the throat, wasn't it? Remember that Tom Paxton song? Brilliant about President Carter. Anyway, it's back to the real business now, Richard. OK, we've had all the jokes, we've had all the fun. The imperial spin round of the ingredients. We know we've got rabbit jointed and all that business. Fresh field mushrooms chopped, parsley, root vegetables, in this case, onions and carrots, fresh thyme, good bacon, tomato puree, garlic, the rabbit I've already referred to, dredged in seasoned flour, OK? And the star of this particular little show is going to be the Guzgog wine, the sparkling gooseberry champagne. Mushrooms at this stage can go into here with the bacon fat and the carrots and onions, and they can all brown off quite nicely. No problem there. What do I need? My champagne. This is something, you know, in the sound man in television programs doesn't like frying noises, but he insists on having that kind of noise. And yet it's the most uncool way to open a bottle of champagne. It should be open so it makes no noise at all. Right, that's all going well. Flip over here. These are browning nicely. Free range, well, not free range, but actually wild rabbit. Going very well. Put them over like that. My little fingers have to be used. Turn these things over. Those are brown, those are sealed. Okay. Maximum. Who's talking to me? Oh, I'm sorry, I'm back. I'm back. You're back. Where have you been? You've been... I, I bought a loving cup. I didn't see why you should take all your own. You've been to the junk shop. I thought, <laughs> yes. you, I thought you'd gone to Marks and Spencer. <laughs> oh, I say. Just keep on there. Oh, isn't it gorgeous? Can I help? Uh, you can help by being quiet at the moment, Mara, oh. because. You always give me the difficult things to yeah, do. I'm, I'm busy, all right? Oh, right. You don't want me to touch it. Stand here, hold that, and shut up. <laughs> right. I'm cooking, Margaret. This is, after all, my I job. I'm, I'm, I'm not a television presenter. I'm not an interviewer. Yeah, that's what I like. I don't, work on, I don't work on tomorrow's world or anything like that. I actually am a cook. It's 
And if it's all right with you... Heavenly. Right. I wish Richard. you could have a smelly television. Yeah, a smelly vision. They used to have it in 1984, didn't they? Right, right, so we've got all our nice bits and pieces in there. Lovely. Okay, we happy. A bit of time. Now, I don't have enough of it, to be honest with you. Get the dreadful pun there. Some parsley. And then, um, oh, hold on, we'll add our tomato puree, which will stir well in. That'll all mix in in a moment or two. Like that. And then... Oh, no. English yeah. Guzgog sparkling uh, wine. Isn't it lovely? Okay. What will have to happen now, you'll probably go walking around the Somerset levels or watching Combine Harvesting, or they'll probably pay an edge, cut the song. I don't know, he's quite a clever bloke at filling up little interludes. Because the next time... You see this dish. Richard, you just better have a look at it last before it goes into the oven. You all know what the oven looks like. It goes into the oven, covered with foil. It'll be in there for about an hour and a half. Not much longer. Not there. much longer. Look at that lovely fleshy piece. It's nice, isn't it? I beg that bit. You have it later. An hour and a half, and it'll be on the table. OK, so amuse yourselves with whatever the director dreams up now. I couldn't come to Somerset without telling you how cheddar cheese is made. So, are you sitting comfortably? Then I'll begin. After the milk has been heated and the rennet has been added, it goes all thick. Then it's paddled into curds and whey. Then the whey is drained off, which leaves a lovely crumbly curd. Yum, yum. The curds are drained of all the moisture, and then they're compressed and packed into these moulds lined with cheesecloth. I understand now the significance of the great Monty Python line, Blessed are the cheesemakers. Finally, the moulds are all stacked together and pressed again to eliminate every last drop of moisture. Then they are turned out to be stored and mature. So, it's farewell then from Somerset and thank you nice moo cows for one of the finest cheeses in the world. What do you think of my Somerset on a plate? Is that I Somerset? I think that it reminds me of the meadows and the green fields and... Ah, oh, Somerset. <laughs>